My name is James Kennedy. I'm Director of Global Engagement at the University of Warwick in the UK. Internationalisation, I think, means uh, three things. It means that our research is internationally acknowledged as being excellent. We develop lots of good new research partners around the world and we develop research programmes that really change the world and make a huge influence to, to um, knowledge around the world. Secondly, it, it's about our students and it's about giving uh, all of our students an opportunity to gain international experience, both those who are mobile, those who come from other countries to study with us, our students who go out on exchanges to study abroad, and even the students who, who don't leave our own university campus will, through mixing with international students and working on international programmes, gain a better understanding of the world, so that when they graduate, they can go out out to jobs in international organisations or jobs which require them to work with people from lots of different countries in teams. And I think the third aspect of internationalisation is around the sense of community. We consider ourselves a university that's deeply rooted in our own city of Coventry and in the region of the West Midlands. And um, we, by, through our international links, we contribute to that local community, but we also contribute to um, institutions and, and, and countries outside the UK. And we work collaboratively with partners all over the world, and we hope through the work, say, we do in Africa to contribute to the development of higher education in those countries. So it's research, it's teaching, and it's community all benefit through internationalisation. The most important is to have the right people with the right skills who are really committed to working internationally. And I think I know from my own colleagues, they deliberately chose to work in an international office because that's what they're passionate about. That's what they're committed to. Plus all the um, interpersonal skills, communication skills, project management skills, and, and those sort of things. So you have to get the right people. There are many different roles. They might be um, managing programs or projects, so it's a sort of project management role. They might, and a lot of liaison with international partners and, and contacting them. It might be a role of recruiting international students, helping and supporting international students who come to the university. It might be working on what we call internationalisation at home. That's working with the students who are at the university to give them international experience. Then there are other people who work in uh, finance and funding and budgets and, and in HR. There are a whole lot of different roles. Basically, that fundamentally, I suppose it's two things. One is working with international partners, engaging, communicating with partners and planning and delivering programmes. And the second is working with students and supporting them in achieving their goals. You have to get the, the right resources, the, the budgets to, to enable international travel, to belong to international organisations, to develop um, materials, printed materials, online materials, and so on. You have to try and get as much resource from your own institution as possible. Beyond that, it is to look for to, to national organisations and uh, see if, for example, in Ukraine, has the Ministry of Education got programmes that can get support? To look at <coughs> businesses which may be interested in partnership in which it might take place internationally and then to look at international organisations. For example, for Ukrainian universities, look to the British Council, take part in programmes which the British Council is offering to enable you to develop the international um, activities. And there are lots of other. With Germany, there's the DAAD, there's the Americans, the Fulbright Commission and so on. There are lots of international organisations which are active in Ukraine, and these, I think, could be prospective sources of funding for, for universities. So I suppose it's your own resources, um, plus 
national resources, companies, and, and maybe even you have a, a, a very wealthy alumnus who can contribute towards the development of the university, and then to international groups and organizations. And finally, you need the strategy, the support of the senior management of the university, because without that, not, nothing is possible. There's, you can't, can't do things unless you know that the, the rector, vice rector, the senior professors are all behind what you're doing. That's, you've got to have that, that structure to support. My name is Stephanie Sanford and I work at Coventry University um, in our international office and my position is Regional Manager for Europe, Russia and Central Asia. The most important thing is for the institution to really understand itself and understand what it is that makes it completely different to all of its competitors. Um, so really having a thorough uh, belief in its core values and what it is that makes that institution unique is absolutely fundamental to the success of any activity when entering a market. It's important to have a truly compelling proposition. So to offer something at your institution or to offer an experience, um, whether it be um, outside of the classroom or inside of the classroom, that is truly different to the rest of the universities in that market. I feel also that it's very important to understand um, your stakeholders, to really speak to your students, to speak to your partner institutions, to speak to the parents of the students, so that you really understand and communicate thoroughly um, in order to inform your strategy um, because without the data and the evidence to back that up you are at risk of, um, of, of going astray so I think that's a second piece of work that's very significant and fundamental to success I think you need to be realistic yet ambitious when setting targets and strategic goals moving forward for the whole institution you need to look um, thoroughly at the resource you have available to you um, and think practically how am I going to use the resource that I have available in order to achieve the wider strategic goals of the university. I think that um, you need to understand the wider strategic direction set by the university's rector or vice chancellor um, in terms of the corporate plan or university strategy and break that down into um, sizable chunks and realistic milestones that you can achieve. And I think having the right people is incredibly important. Um, having a staff body who really believes in the core values of your institution and is truly committed to its students is absolutely essential. Without that, it'll be very difficult to achieve a competitive edge. And then finally, I would say that it's very important to measure performance against the metrics that are identified um, as, as performance indicators in your strategy. So measure how well you are doing against the long-term vision um, and make sure that you have, as I said previously, re um, realistic targets. So break them down into short and long-term objectives so that you can track your performance against those and, and make sure that that's communicated across the wider team. And of course, not to be afraid to admit when something doesn't quite um, work out as you would have hoped um, and to make changes based on that performance. Mm -hmm.